All right, how's it going, guys? So, I found the thing. Right there, logistics. So, we're going to start our logistic bots. And I have the uh, bots doing a bit of cleanup over here. And there's one thing I kind of forgot to do. And that is I need to set up for my bots to go into one of these. And I do not have that done. So I've got to work out how exactly I want to do this. Because we're going to put the logistics bots up here as soon as that research gets done. And we're going to need them in there as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking that out. And we're going to connect these up and we're going to bring it down here. And we're going to put these two here and we're going to have those on near side. So that all of our bots are on the same one. And then we can take this, jump it over, and now we can set this to input into there. And we want to connect this to that. And then we want to tell it, because we can actually do read the contents. And read the robot statistics. And this will tell us available total for both of them. So we want X or no, we want Y and T. Now the issue is that they're coming across on the same belt. So what we're going to do... We're going to take this out. We're going to put this in. And we're going to filter this for construction bots on the left. So then we'll have logistics bots come out on the right. And that'll take care of that part. We'll put that in there. And then we'll tell this that if... Oh, construction is T. So we want to enable condition if T is less than. And we're going to say 200. 200 should be fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw all of those in there because I do not need them and now that will let them get to work getting all this cleared out that I set over here get all of this crap out of here so then we can get some stuff done there and As soon as those logistic bots are done, we're also going to set up some other things. But that's probably not going to be done for today. So let's go ahead and there are some things that I don't have crafted that we're going to need soon. Um... I want to get these medium containers done, which take the steel chest and the uh, steel beams, which we have available right here. Now, we're going to do buffer chest. We're going to do requester chest. I don't know that I'm going to need the other one. 
So let's go ahead and just start right here. If I need to move this up, we can. So we're going to do this for the medium container. We can put that in there. And then uh, we're going to set this here. And I put that one too close. Because this is going to be the warehouse. Which is also going to need those. So we can do that. And now that'll input those into there. And then we just need more steel beams for that. And while that's doing its thing, we can get this set into here. And do this thing. Um, oh. Because I had the bot do it. I've been doing the uh, vanilla achievement stream. And I keep wanting to do everything with bots all the time. Alright, so we want this for that. And we want to set this also to that. And we'll just keep about 10 of those available. That should be plenty. We shouldn't need much more than that. And now this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set this for the warehouse. And we're going to set this one once I hook up the wire. There we go. And we're going to set that for the warehouse. And we'll keep 10 of those as well. Alright, so that will take care of all of that. And now we got all of those done. Now, um, the other thing we don't have done, which I think we might as well get done, is our steel... Um, pipes underground pipes maybe the pumps I'm not sure if we're going to need those or not and then we also have we just got the atmosphere it condenser done i want to see if we can get that in over here with our other machines similar to it Oh, and I don't know what in the hell happened when I came in today. I did my usual look around, see how things are looking, and my furnaces over here were all turned off of not accepting, not having their recipe, so I had to turn that back on. But I filled back up on Coke now, so I don't know how that got turned off. Okay, so right here, I think we have just about everything we need. Um, we need green circuits. And that we don't have up here. Um, I think we can move this up. And then just put that there and that should put oh no because that's going in the uh, bottom it actually has to come in the top to do that which we can do that but we got to make sure we don't end up with glass on both of those so how about instead um, da, 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 da. Because putting that on both sides of the belt is a good idea. But I'm just worried that if I end up doing the same for the glass, it's going to mess that up. 
and I don't want to mess that up. We don't need the glass till up there, though. So we could take this out. Move it up to here. And then we can do the same here. That'll give us a little bit more room for this. So now I can put this in here. And I can have that go in the side there. All right, and then we want to fix this. And it's the best way for me to fix this. I think it's going to be to have this come off. And go like that, except that's going to go in the small side and that's not going to work. So we're going to have to do this and then that. And that'll fix that. So now we don't have to worry about if we double up the glass. All right, our logistic spots did get done. We have a large logistic container. That's going to be cool. Let's go ahead and start that. All right, so they did get done. So let's go ahead and work on our logistics bots now. And then I'll look at that other stuff in a minute. Because I want to get these guys done. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to need to run this up here and we need to get red circuits on the other side so we're gonna do this uh, take that out we're gonna move it back to there because we're gonna need to do this like that so we can put this one here have it come up and go there. And then we can do this one here. And we can just bring it over one and go there. And just so I can quit thinking about that being wrong, let's go ahead and fix that so it doubles those up. this and that'll double them up for us and we don't have to worry about that not having enough on there Also needs the flying robot frames so grab that and that plop that in there that'll take care of that and now we have our logistics spots coming in so now we can set this one up which was Z if I remember correctly no Y Y, and we're going to set this to probably 100 for the moment. Should be fine. All right, so now I just need to go through and set up my personal logistics, um, which I'm going to do different things for different belts. Like I'll have uh, this one 
And I want to make sure it keeps it at exactly 200. And then this 50 will be fine for that. And then this one. And 50 is fine for that. Then we're going to do the red ones. Which will do 200, 50, and 50 again. And then we'll leave room over there for the blue ones at the end. And that'll keep me with everything I need in my inventory. I'm going to set up the same thing for inserters I'll set up stuff for train stuff anything that I need I'll set up the same way but the other thing I want to get set up because I end up moving around a lot of belts is I want to set up like when we cut down trees I want a place for the wood to go so they can automatically take it out of my inventory. And then same thing for all of the ores. Like coal, stone. Those I end up with a lot of. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a storage box right here. And we're going to have it go like that. And now we're going to tell this that it is wood only and then up here I'm going to set up down here wood and have it at zero zero so they will instantly take all the wood out of my inventory oh fuck I already got one over there never mind <laughs> kind of forgot I put this in here all right now I want to do the same thing for the coal and the iron which why are we running so low on I need to get a second belt in here for this alright uh, we shouldn't have to worry about uh, yeah we will How do I want to do this? I'm going to have to redo this. Let's bring this down. So we're going to have to do this. And then we're not going to have... Or no, wait a minute. I want that one to go there. I don't want this one to go there. I want that to feed just the iron side and then we can do this and for right now we'll be good with just this belt should be fine so we can take this up and over and then bring it like that. Now, I did notice that we are just about ready to do the electric furnaces. So that'll take care of this whole thing. So we won't need this for too long like this. Once we get those, we're going to set up a whole new smelting area for all the things. But we have to make sure we have enough power when we get to that point because they're going to take a lot of power. Now, where do I want to drop off the iron ore at? Um, what did I screw up here? That's what I screwed up here. Let's see, something's not right. Alright, so this stuff is going to be coming out of here soon, so we probably should, 
should set up the iron drop off down here where the train comes in. The only issue is we don't have logistics going that far, so we'll have to bring them down here. We're going to do this, that, we're going to set that for iron, and then we're going to do this and set that, so we keep iron ore out of my inventory, and we'll do the same thing for copper as well, and for stone. None of that should ever be in my inventory. Uh, but we've got to be careful with this one because we haven't set up the place to drop that off at yet. Which I can actually turn that off. And then I won't have to worry about them coming and trying to grab it. So now we're going to set up both of those over here. Um, which I also need to set... those and we need to set these although now that we got the warehouses I may do this different uh, we'll see here in a minute and I'll set that like that set this for these kappas All right, so now let's see where we are with our bots. We definitely need to get one of these over here. Let's get it connected first. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. We'll put one there. The one thing I hate about placing these is it doesn't show where it's actually at until it's placed. I'm going to do one of these here. That'll cover most of that area. Get rid of all of that garbage. And we can put that in. And then this one I'm going to have to go up a little bit, which is fine. That can go here. And I don't have any... Oh, I got regular ones. Switch this out for that. And then over there. All right, so now the logistics can hit that good and we now have our large logistics containers so let's go see uh, let me set this turn this on and let's get we should have at least the well maybe not I thought after doing that, we would at least have the um, storage container, but I don't see it in here. Oh, there they are. All right, so let's go ahead. I normally don't do the medium uh, or the uh, passive. If anybody knows a good use for them, let me know. I've never been able to find a really good use for them. All right, so let's go see get this out of here first and let's go see what it's going to take to do the storage ones um, I want this guy to get done so let's go ahead and do uh, yeah we need to do this set that that way 
input priority to the left, so it'll have to try to take from there. And then we're going to have this come in on the other side so that he can output so we can get that last iron one out of there. And now let's go take a look at these. Um, logistics warehouses. Hopefully they just use our two that we already did. And just put some circuits in them. I'm going to grab some of those while we're here. I'm also going to set those up into my logistics things but I don't figure you guys want to sit here and watch me set up different logistic things all the time and I screwed that up so get that out of there gotta remember to hit that don't do that you're gonna find weird shit in weird places So we'll put this here and now this one is going to take a red circuit in a warehouse. That one's going to take red circuits and a warehouse. Now, what am I going to need smaller ones for? I'm not thinking there's anything I'm going to need the smaller ones for. So I'm thinking that if we do uh, da, 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 da. we actually shouldn't need this one any longer. So if I take this back to there, because this doesn't need them, then I can set up this belt going up. And then we can do those for the provider, the requester, and the storage for the warehouses. And then we can just bring this up. We can have that go in there. We're not worried about those at the moment. We can have that go in there. Connect up there. That'll take care of that. And then we can put this here, which will output those onto the belt for us and bring them up there when we have enough. Right now, we don't have enough of the steel because we got to get uh, more steel. Uh, chess made which it looks like we probably want to do that there we go that should keep us on steel chests a little bit better these things are going to take a ton to get done and I have them in here so I want to make one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there. And now we're going to want to do the same thing here. Which I'm actually just going to copy that and paste it onto there. So copy that, paste it there, and then we can just change this over to that one and then we can set this filter for that so now as those get done they can just pop in there so we just gotta wait for the rest of that to get done and I'm gonna change this actually because I should not need 
50 of these. 10 should be plenty. Same with this one. And then we'll also set it up for this one. And we'll set that to 10 as well. There. That'll keep them in there. So now we shouldn't have to worry about getting any more of these. And I now only have 10 of each. So they put the rest back. So that'll be good for that. Now let's go look at <coughs> these warehouses. Because maybe I could do instead of six of the chests for my drop off and my um, loading areas. I might be able to do just one warehouse. Because, let's see. A warehouse is four mediums. A medium is four chests. So, it's going to be more expensive than doing four chests. But, it'll also hold a lot more. And, they can all work out of the same box. Oh yeah, we still need to get this done too. Right there. There, that one. This one we can put right there and we'll just drop one of these over here. That'll be fine for that. So now that's within the area. So what I'm thinking, which that's going to be a big mess, but I'm going to take all of this out of here for the moment. I know you're going to give me a bunch of shit. And I don't know where in the hell they're trying to take that to. And I don't want them to do it. Let's go ahead and put this down right here. And I'll just put it all in there for the moment. Uh, let's turn off my logistics for the moment so they're not trying to take off of that shit. If I put one of these logistics ones here, that is just big enough that they'll be able to do that. That looks good. And then I can just do this. To feed all that back into there. Oh, I went too far. There. They can feed that into there. And then we can set the logistics like that. And then we're not going to need this one anymore. So if I take this one out of here, I turn my personal logistics back on. They should... Uh, we want to take that off of there so they're not dropping there anymore. We want them to drop into this, which they are. Alright, so now I just got to go and figure out where they came up with, where they put those at. Let's go ahead and get this set back up. 
up here. There, I'll have to work on this because that's not right. I need to get this into here. Like that. That way we got two lanes and I need to get these two running together. I need to get these two running together and then put the three of them together so we also need to get these have that one go there and then we can do this and that This one, that's not going to work. Let's put that one there, that one there. So now we can do that, that, that. And that should keep them pretty well full. It'll get better as we uh, fill up that belt. But now we don't have to worry about them, one of them running out. Get rid of all of that, please. All right, where are these guys going? They should not be coming up here dropping off iron anywhere up here. So if they are, I messed up a box. The fun thing about when you get logistics bots can always figure out where you screwed up and apparently it's right here all right fix that give me all that no I know you're already on the move to bring them up here but stop it all right now hopefully Um, where are you going? Why are you trying to drop coal in there? Stop it. Alright, I don't think I have the coal ones set up. We don't have coal coming in on a train yet. Yeah, so I definitely don't have it set up yet. And, uh, what are you guys... Oh, from picking up the coal there. Okay. Hold on. Well, at least we know we've got it fixed because these those guys are complaining they don't have anywhere to go. So we know that that is taken care of. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this to get done. And next time, we're going to work on changing over all of our smelting areas once that gets done. Which it's only 250, so it shouldn't take too awful long to get done. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up a thing for coal, and we'll just put it right here. Set that like that. And now they have somewhere to drop off coal. Perfect. Alright, so that's it with my logistics stuff for today. We have to get to the other logistics before we can... This one here, but we need yellow before we can do that one. Before we can set up the other boxes and things. 
and looks like we have new mining drills we can set up as well which will be nice so that's what we're going to do and the next couple is i'm going to start with getting some more of the pipes and stuff done and then we will get our electric smelters done so we can change over our smelting area we're going to move the smelting area for iron down here somewhere and then same with copper we're going to make a whole big whole new big smelting area once all of that gets done and hey this guy's finally done so we can get that ripped out of there and we also need to work on getting concrete made soon so that's another thing we need to work on and we've got all kinds of things to do we also need to change over this area a whole bunch so we can get the rest of this coal out of here but that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one